Hi and welcome to Outwell. In this film I'm going to talk you through the features of our Biscayne 6 from our Superior collection. You can see here that the Biscayne 6 is a large tunnel design tent which is aimed to sleep up to six people. With it being from our Superior collection you'll find that the fly sheet we're using on here is our Outex 6000. This is a polyester material which has been fully PU coated. It has tape seams and a hydrostatic head of 6000 millimeters, ensuring that it's going to be completely waterproof. You'll also just notice here that we have embossed the Outwell logo onto the blue panels of the tent just for that extra little bit of design. The frame that we're using here is our hybrid frame system. Now what that means is it's made up of two different components. We have the steel poles here which run down the full length of the tent and that's obviously going to uh, provide strength and stability. Then we have the Duratec fiberglass poles which go between each of the steel poles to create these eyebrow porches just here. This actually has two different advantages, one of which is enabling the tent to become a freestanding tent. So once you have put all the poles in place, you can then actually pick the whole tent up and move it exactly into the right position on your site. The other advantage is that it then creates these hoops above each of the window, and you can see that that has enabled us to create these excellent ventilation panels in here, which we'll show you in more detail from inside the tent. Some other features that you can see are our um, innovative Outwell wind stabilizer systems. Now, the way this works is very simply by taking the Velcro tabs here, which are attached to the fly sheet. We can wrap these around the pole at the top and at the bottom of each pole. And then we have our guy lines attached to these. And what happens is when we pull these out and peg them into the ground, it pulls the whole fly sheet against the frame of the tent and makes it much, much more stable. Great for use even in high wind conditions. The guy lines themselves are our classic luminous outwell guy lines, so hopefully you're not going to trip over these quite as easily. And also then each guy line has its own retainer, so that when it comes to packing down the tent, we can wrap up the guy line in our hands and pop them in here so that they're easily accessible the next time we pitch them. Another feature on here is the fact that we are using our easy pegging system. This is where we supply you with three different types of peg with the tent, which includes the steel pegs for the four corners of the tent, known as the anchor peg. Then we have the luminous plastic pegs, which are for all of the luminous guy lines around the side of the tent. And we also have the black plastic peg for all of the rest of the pegging points on here. And that really ensures that you get the right peg in the right place. You see that we have some large windows down the sides of the tent and each one of these windows has been tinted, which serves two key functions. One is to reduce the amount of glare from the sun inside the tent. And the second is to create as much privacy as we can. When we step round to the front of the tent, We'll just see here that we have this uh, sheltered area at the front created with this attached canopy. So great on a little bit of a drizzly day, you can sit in here and relax and still get shelter. Or if you're lucky enough for it to be very sunny outside, this will create a shade for you as well. The front of the tent, you can see, has some large ventilation panels either side. And then we have large tinted windows again here. And all of these can be closed up with curtains which are on the inside. A nice feature about this wall is that it can be fully opened up using the zips which are all the way around the outside to create just one large open space here. When we step inside the tent, we're certainly very aware of just how much space there is. I'm around 1 meter 95 tall and you can see that I have plenty of head height above me here and there's certainly plenty of room for furniture and storage solutions and things like this. So I mentioned the windows earlier on and they certainly, like I say, allow lots of light in here but if you want a little bit um, more privacy then we have curtains on each of the windows which are just toggled away at the moment. You can see that these can just be rolled up and stored in the pockets. But the nice thing with these windows here is that we actually have a zip on either side so we can just choose exactly how much privacy or how much light we're letting into the tent ourselves. Again, I pointed out the ventilation that we have inside the tent earlier on as well. Just want to show you this in detail because what we can do is actually open the ventilation up completely and then roll this panel away. You can see here that this is then an open space, or as you've just seen, we can then close the mesh panel itself, still allowing great ventilation, but not allowing any bugs in. And then you can see here that we also have another curtain, which is rolled away at the moment, which can then be fully closed. So just in the center of the tent, you'll find our lantern hanging point at the top here. And then running away from that, we have our cable tidies, which run down to our cable entry point. This allows us to bring electrics into the tent without having any cables coming in through the doors. When I mention doors, you'll just see that we actually have a side door on here, which is closed at the moment, obviously, but we can open this up and then draw across 
the mesh panel for great ventilation, but again, hopefully keeping out those unwanted bugs. Across the other side, there is another door on here. I just want to point out that we have, uh, we're showing you the optional extra of our side pod here. At the back of the tent is where you'll find the bedrooms. And what you'll find is these bedrooms actually come pre-attached. And the way they're attached to the tent is with our wave-shaped hanging point system. Now this is here primarily to take any stress points off of the seam across the top of the bedrooms, ensuring that you have a real secure fixing. But you will notice that all of the material on here is actually color coded to the tent as well, which just gives it a real nice uh, detailed finish. Other details on the bedrooms themselves, you'll see just on the doors, we actually have piping that runs all the way along the zips. Again, it gives it a nice finish, but there is a function, uh, function to these as well, whereby we can just very easily open and close the zips without them catching on any material. On the doors themselves, you'll see that we have, again, more mesh ventilation panels here, and these have curtains behind them, which can be opened or closed. We also have some mesh pockets on the outside too. Another feature here is our universal bedroom. And what this means is that we can choose to get rid of one of the bedrooms if we want, just simply by unclipping at the front and at the back. And then if we were to take the zips in between, we could drop this whole bedroom down, creating one bedroom and even more living space for you. Some other features that you'll find in the bedrooms, we have some storage pockets on the inside. And then we also have a mesh ventilation panel, again, which corresponds to outside ventilation. And you'll notice that the material at the top of the bedroom is darker to enable you to have a nice long lie if it gets very bright outside. You'll see that there is a large sheet of material between the two bedrooms, which can be either uh, closed, as you can see here, or fully opened using the zip to create one large bedroom. You see on this side here that there is then a door out of the side of the bedroom. Now this is here if you again would like uh, one of our optional extras, for example the storage pod for the tent, it would enable you to open this door and have access into that pod if you so desired. The ground sheet that we use in this area is a fully sealed ground sheet from front to back, so it does cover all the way underneath the bedrooms and it's bathtub in style as well, so it comes up at the edges, protecting you from the elements and hopefully keeping out those unwanted bugs as well. And the material itself is very heavy duty and uh, it has a hydrostatic head of 10,000 millimetres because this is a double coated polyethylene. So we have a few optional extras available for the tent, including a carpet for the living area here. There's a footprint available to go under the tent. There's also a front awning available. And then we have three separate pods which can be attached to the sides of the tent, including our cuisine pod, our storage pod, and our side pod. So that's all the features of our Biscayne 6. Thanks very much for watching.